From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. Today is March 16th. On this Tuesday, I'm Nicole Nalepa. Let's get you started with today's top stories. Major changes are being made to the state's vaccine rollout plan. As of April 5th, anyone 16 and older will be able to sign up for a vaccine appointment. Those in the 45 to 54 age group will be eligible three days earlier, starting March 19th. Now, those 16 to 44 years old have all been grouped together, and about 20% of this population has already already been vaccinated because of their line of work. And now we are bringing you the latest vaccination numbers across the state based on age. People 75 and older are 77% vaccinated. 71% of those between 65 and 74 are also vaccinated. And the newest group, those who are between 55 and 64, are already 40% fully vaccinated. The UConn women's head coach Gina Oriema will not be available to coach in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Oriema ended up testing positive for COVID-19 on Sunday, and this announcement came just before the women's team was selected as a number one seed. It also came about four days just after he received the second dose of the COVID vaccine, so he was not fully vaccinated yet. And the town of South Windsor will be holding a referendum vote today at the high school gym. That vote is regarding a new athletic complex in Nevers Park. The complex is expected to hold 1,200 fans, and residents are concerned about the lack of plans for the complex and no results of soil sampling since that piece of land was used for farming up until recently. Scott? All right, thanks, Nicole. 732. Uh, hi, everybody. Good morning. Uh, temperatures out there are only going to make it into the mid to upper 30s during the day today becoming cloudy as well. We are off to a really nice start there in terms of sky conditions. It's just really chilly out there this morning and it's going to be a cold day today. So bundle up. Nobody gets to 40 today. Ooh, that's chilly. All right, tonight's overnight lows not as bad as they were this morning with mostly cloudy skies and some scattered snow showers, which could lead to a coating to a dusting tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow it turns out to be partly to mostly cloudy, a little bit better, 45. 52 on Thursday, rain Thursday afternoon and at night changes over to a little bit of snow Friday morning. There could be a, an accumulation of snow, one to two, maybe three inches of snow in parts of the state by Friday mid to late morning. Then Friday afternoon clearing and then the weekend looks great. Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Alexa. We appreciate that. I hope you have a great day.